Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create dynamic columns based on a slicer selection. I pulled this data from GitHub, shout out Jake Thompson, amazing, it's just Taylor Swift song data. And this single fact table came from Spotify, so it just has a bunch of Taylor Swift parameters, like how acoustic a song is, what the tempo of a song is. So. Let's start by creating a new table. This is a calculated table and we're going to call it dimension slicer. So we're going to start by creating a variable for our first column that we want to use album for whatever Taylor Swift album the song came from. And we're going to do add columns and then we're going to do values and the album column from the Spotify table values just creates a one column table. So to add onto our one column table, we're then going to create a new column and we're gonna call it dimension. And then we're gonna make the value album. So let's just return that and see what we get. Looks great, now let's add the other dimension columns that we're gonna be having in our slicer. So I'm just gonna copy paste that and change it to key name, which is the other column that we have in the slicer. So if the song is in the key of G or D or A minor, and I'm just gonna replace anywhere that it says album with key name. And then I'm gonna union those tables together. And I'm just gonna rename the first column to entity. There we go, we have our slicer table or our dimension slicer table, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so I created a new page for us to do our exercise. Now I'm gonna be creating the dimension slicer. So picking the slicer visual, and this visual is going to be our bar chart, and we're gonna put an entity there. Okay, so I already created this measure called average tempo, and it's just taking the average of the tempo column in the Spotify fact table, because I'm interested in seeing the average tempo across album and across key. As you can see, clicking back and forth, the columns are changing. I'll create a new measure called average tempo dimension slicer. And we're gonna start with creating a variable SV selected value. And we're gonna say the selected value is the entity in the dimension slicer table. Then we're gonna return switch true, which is basically a glorified if statement. We'll do selected value dimension slicer dimension equals album. So it's saying if album is selected in the dimension slicer then calculate the average tempo but we need to filter the spotify table because that is the fact table if we had a star schema those dimensions would be filtering our fact table and then we're going to do within the spotify table where the album equals sv so if the album equals red then filter on red, which is what we wanna show in the bar chart when the entity is red. We want it to filter on red. And then I'm just going to repeat everything that I did for album as my next conditional in the switch statement. All right, and I'll definitely have to put this through DAX formatter later. So I had dragged in just our plain average tempo. So now I'm gonna put in our new average tempo. And as you can see, the bar chart's being filtered as we would expect it to be. And it's working like a charm. And just to show you guys, this works by filtering through the fact table. The only limitation that I've found so far is that you cannot change the title of the X or Y axis. So it says entity when really you would hope that it would say album. So Power BI, if you're listening, please make dynamic X and Y axes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please let me know if this was helpful or not. And if you would like to see more videos like this, this was super fun for me to make. And I just can't wait to share more fun Power BI tips with you guys.